Hello everyone, I'm Manuel and welcome back to my YouTube channel for a new review, the latest smartphone from Maze, the Maze Alpha X. Is it a good phone? Well, let's find out together. Ok, so let's talk about specifications. The phone comes with the MediaTek Helio P25, an octa-core at 2.4 GHz, 6 GB of RAM, 64 GB of internal storage, of which roughly 54 available, and dual SIMs. It's expandable with an SD card up to 256 GB by giving up the second SIM slot. You can either have two SIMs or one SIM and one micro SD. And the SD card can also be used as internal storage and the phone supports OTG. Aesthetically speaking, the phone looks absolutely astonishing and smaller than other similar phones. The design is really beautiful and the material combining glass both in the front and on the back gives off a premium sensation, even though the glass on the back will show your fingerprints quite easily. You can see I've just cleaned for the review and you can already see my fingerprints. It's a shame. <clears throat> the frame is all in metal and feels solid at the touch. On top we have the audio jack and the two bands for the antenna. On the right side we have the power button and the volume buttons. On the bottom we have the microphone, speakers and the USB Type-C here, right here. On the left we have the SIM tray for two SIMs or one SIM and one micro SD. On the back we have a 13 megapixel Sony camera, the IMX258, the laser focus and the monotone flashlight. On the front we have the notification light right here, the proximity sensor and the light sensor. In the lower bezel we have the camera right here and the fingerprint scanner. It's one of the few smartphones with this ratio to have a fingerprint scanner on the front. Actually, since the phone is quite big, I liked it on the back because it's more natural and easier to reach. Because as you can see, it's quite difficult to come all the way down here with my finger. It's not easy to reach. The display is a 6 inches IPS Full HD Plus with an 18 to 9 ratio. The colors are nice and vibrant and also thanks to the mirror vision technology. The automatic brightness works nice and it's also possible to see it even in direct sunlight. The phone comes with Android 7 and has a stock appearance. Here I've installed the Nova Launcher as usual. But with some personalization in the software, such as flip the phone to mute incoming calls by turning the phone upside down or gestures with multiple fingers, like to take screenshots or access the camera, adjust the volume and other few additions. As you can see, apologies, with three fingers up, I'm opening the camera. Let's go back. Three fingers down, I'm taking a screenshot. With two fingers up and down, I'm lowering the volume and so on. It also has the one-handed feature, which is incredibly useful in smartphones this big. By swiping the finger on the navigation bar, the screen becomes much smaller, so it can usually be easy with one hand. Let's see it in action, like this. Here, the phone looks like just a 5 inches phone. You can turn it on the left, if you are left-handed. And to make it full screen, you just swipe it again. And here it is. Since it's based on Android 7, we can also use the split screen feature and most of the apps in order to have two apps running at the same time. Talking about gaming, the 6GB of RAM and the MediaTek P25 with the Mali T880 makes gaming fast and smooth. I had no issue with any game, everything just worked flawlessly. Talking about connectivity, we have the dual band Wi-Fi with both 2.4 and 5 GHz and it also has a higher range than other similar phones. The GPS works great and it's very accurate and fast. The phone has Bluetooth 4.2 and works perfectly with my car 
earphones and laptop. The speaker on top is actually quite good. The sound is loud and clear and the bottom speaker are also clear and a lot loud. The bottom speakers are right here. The phone has a 3900 mAh battery and it has a great autonomy. With normal usage you get to the evening with more than 60% left and it lasts up to around 6 hours of screen on time, which is great for this processor. With normal to light usage the battery can last up to 2 full days. And I also wanted to show you here in settings, let's go to the battery, with 20% left I have approximately 8 hours. And let's see the battery. As you can see, I charged the phone one day and 11 hours ago and I still have 8 hours left. So it's around 40 hours the autonomy for this phone. It's just superb. The phone also supports fast charging, so to fully charge the phone from 0 to 100%, it takes slightly less than 2 hours, despite the big battery. And now let's talk about the camera. On the back we have a 13 megapixel Sony sensor with a monotone flashlight and the laser autofocus. While on the front, right down here, we have a 5 megapixel camera. I had higher expectation from this camera, but actually it wasn't as nice as I thought. As you can see from the picture here, even though it's using a Sony sensor, the photo with good lightning show a decent level of details, but the colors are undersaturated. I would also like to point out that the camera has an issue in focusing close objects, and sometimes one can't absolutely take any close-up ones. At night, pictures are actually not that bad, with a nice amount of details and a better color saturation, but still insufficient for this sensor. The front takes decent pictures with good lightning, but it's actually not that bad with low lightning as well, considering the price. And here we have an example of video recording. Okay, this is a quick video testing. Yeah, there is no stabilization. Here you can see some people fishing. Yeah, let's see in direct sunlight. So I zooming, it's up to four pair, up to four times. In conclusion, would I recommend this phone? Well, for one hundred and eighty dollars, you are getting one of the best looking smartphone, the top tier MediaTek processor at two point four gigahertz. 6 GB of RAM, 64 GB of internal storage, and a battery that lasts up to 2 days. The only downside I found in this smartphone is the camera, which I thought could be a lot better. But I hope Maze will release an update to improve its quality. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it will really help my channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe and comment. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you'd like to buy this smartphone, you can use the link in the description box below. Well, see you soon in the next video.